what is going on everybody welcome back it's lex and today we got another freaking video to watch today so this is one of those games that i never actually played but it was one of them that i heard over time just kind of online of resident evil horror games a lot of people love silent hill there's like a whole fan base behind it and now again we're gonna have another remake just like how resident evil has you know over the last couple of years we made some other few games and, and we're gonna get into that hopefully this remake is gonna be super super good the resident evil remakes have been pretty great i've enjoyed them they've departed from kind of the original content that they were made from i wonder if that's also what they're going to be doing in this one or they're going to be staying true to you know the original game itself because i hear for metal gear they're going to be staying you know kind of more to the original game they're not going to be departuring too much from it even though like in Resident Evil 4, for example, it almost felt like a whole different story or at least the story unfolding in, in a different way. Remakes have been handled very differently so far over the last couple of years and we're definitely getting a lot of them. I actually quite enjoy remakes and their benefit because they give you a more, you know, modern take of that original IP that people, you know, love very, very much and also puts a new fan base in it and puts it where it's not too like, oh, I have to get this old console or I have to download this emulator to play this whole game or I have to find it here or a flea marker or whatever it isn't you know as difficult to do where now they remake the whole game make it look more prettier hopefully the gameplay is a lot more smoother you know so I'm glad they do remakes and obviously it gives people the chance to play these old beloved games so let's get into the video and see everything we need to know about Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 is often regarded as one of the best survival horror games of all time. And just like Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space, it's getting the remake treatment. Whether you're definitely Resident Evil 4, Dead Space, big, 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 big contenders there, right? Big talked about. If you want to talk about remakes, those are the biggest ones, right? Dead Space, Resident, more Resident Evil than Dead Space, in my opinion. Dead Space, I, I wasn't too attached to it as I am Resident Evil, but what had Capcom has done with, you know, remakes. I mean, it's just setting this whole new freaking industry of remake everything, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Experiencing the game for the first time or returning for a visually updated dose of nostalgia. Here's everything you need to know about Bloober Team's remake of Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Silent Hill 2 will be a retelling of the story from the original version of the game that was released back wow. in- Wow, this is the OG version. It still looks kind of cool. It doesn't look too bad. 2001. Set in the titular town, Silent Hill 2 sees writer James Sunderland searching for his long dead wife, Mary, after seemingly receiving a letter from her. There, James finds oh no. a number one of, these. of ghastly horrors awaiting him, including famous enemies like Pyramid Head. Oh, this guy, this guy, if you've never even played Silent Hill, this guy always shows up. He, like, I've never played it, but I know, oh, that guy's from Silent Hill. So that goes to, you know, the designers of this uh, monster here. As well as the unhinged Eddie. Dombrowski. Is Mary still alive? Or could there be a darker force at play here? Fortunately for spooky fans, the remake of Silent Hill 2 will remain a survival horror game. Bloober Team has taken many steps to ensure the essence of the 2001 version is kept intact. In that is that is very, very important. You want to make it fresh but you also don't want to make it so take away from the original fans so much that, you know, it just puts them off. Like a good remake to do is like kind of stay, in my opinion, stay with the core of the original, but also maybe add new elements to it. Maybe it's not game changing, but it's just, you know, if you want to use this or we made this a little bit better or we updated this, whatever it might be, it just isn't changing the core of the game. Now, a good example of, Kind of different from that is final fantasy 7 remix right they don't have that turn-based style it's more action rpg style where um, you go around and actually freaking use buttons to hit the enemies where it's not you know clicking a button and they're going to do an action for you so in that sense they added a whole different level maybe a dynamic to the game that wasn't in the original but as you see it's very very tricky because that could have gone bad or that could have gone good but obviously how modern games are today you know we are not going to be so much into turn-based action like that. Whereas people wanted more action pack. how Final Fantasy VII came out, you know. Uh, I quite enjoyed that remake as well. But that's one example of like 
Um, we created our own system to it. It's not necessarily the turn based of it. It still has those core, you know, characters, core elements of the original game, including consulting with the original developers throughout the process. Oh, However, that's good. the remake is also being modernized to better fit modern expectations. Exactly. For example, similar to the remakes of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, Silent Hill Dude, 2 Resident Evil 2 was fantastic. That's another game that I didn't play originally on the PlayStation. And I played that game freaking amazing, amazing, amazing game. Like even if it is a remake, it's still a great game in itself. Like that is one of those top tier games that you look at uh, as best remakes that have come in the last couple of years since they've been making remakes. You know, amazing, amazing game. Two will utilize an over the shoulder perspective rather than the zoomed out fixed camera view more common in horror games at the turn of the century. Yeah, Silent Hill I mean, 2 also improves upon combat by making things a bit more fluid, adding a dodge button and an aiming reticle. However, as- so, so they're definitely learning from the Resident Evil franchise. Jessica Cogswell said in our hands-on preview of the game, the overall combat experience isn't a complete overhaul. Jess wrote, quote, for some, this could be frustrating as it still has the light dusting of PS2 jank. That's something the Resident Evil remakes have more or less done away with. However, I found that the remakes combat actually feels perfectly in service to the rest of the game. Part of what makes Silent Hill 2 as terrifying as it is. Look, they, even, they even have kind of the dodge mechanic that Resident Evil 3 and 2 have. That's interesting. Those small bursts of panic and tension that arise from its cumbersome combat. The remake feels to accept and build upon this, taking away the more unruly and frustrating aspects of combat while letting the game retain its sense of friction. Combat feels solid in Silent Hill 2, but it's not at the forefront. The Immersion trailer, released on September 20th, shows various locations in the Silent Hill 2 remake and provides details about how the PS5's DualSense features help players get immersed in the gameplay. The controller's haptic feedback can be felt when hitting enemies with You know who has the best, the best utilization of that so far? Astrobot has the best utilization of the DualSense and the capabilities of it. If it's just a rumble feature when a freaking you're getting hit or whatever, it's whatever, man. But like people are going to learn from Astro Bot. I I'll tell you this right now. They're going to learn. Close range weapons and the adaptive triggers give off resistance when shooting the firearms. The controller's light That's bar cool. changes Every game colors has it now. depending on the status of the player's HP. I, I actually like that. Like I know it's a little bit of a small thing, but I love when they had them in the PlayStation 4 as well. Like the light thing. Uh, it's not new, but like. I was and Silent like Hill 2 is a horror game, the PS5's 3D audio is also a highlight. Though a few members of the original Konami Silent Hill 2 team are working on the remake, the primary development studio is Bloober Team. The Polish studio has specialized in horror games over the last several years, having released games like Layers of Fear, The Medium, and Blair Witch. Silent Hill 2 will still be by far the highest profile game that Bloober Team has created to date. The remake has garnered a somewhat polarizing response from the horror community, with some players expressing concern over the direction of the project. But after our three hour hands on preview, every, everybody, every, if you're an OG fan, you're always going to do that with every freaking remake. Everybody has a concern for it. It's just when, again, when it's something beloved you, that you love, or something that you cared about and you have so much like nostalgia for you, you just wanted to have the justice you know with the which, game which is fair i'm not saying i'm not being critical of that it's fair but it's also like come on jessica cogswell wrote that the remake is significantly better than its marketing materials have indicated oh. she said in short i was incredibly impressed by the time i spent with silent hill 2. it's surreal cerebral horrifying and grotesque all of the things that made the original title such a remarkable title not only for Konami, but for the horror genre as well. We'll see about that. Silent Hill 2 will be released as a console exclusive for PlayStation 5 really? on October 8th, 2024, but will also be available on PC via Steam. Anyone oh, looking okay. to play the game any other way will have to wait until after October 8th, 2025, when the exclusivity ends. There are Damn, two different versions of the game to month. choose from, Standard and Deluxe. The Standard Edition costs 70 bucks and comes with the base game as well as the Robbie the Rabbit mask and the Mirror the Dog mask. 
The deluxe edition costs 80 bucks, comes with everything in the standard edition as well as a digital art book and soundtrack, a pyramid head mask, and 48 hour early access, Maybe charging making the game playable for this on October 6th instead. A hill that is silent, a wife that- Game prices today is a whole different conversation. 70 buckaroos for a remake is, is crazy, May especially, still be especially in this economy. But that's a whole different conversation. Alive and lots and lots of fog. That's everything you need to know about the remake of Silent Hill 2. For e Again, I'm really excited for this one. I love remakes. I want to make sure that I point that out because remakes, I felt like, have been really awesome, especially for me who hasn't played the originals and probably won't go back to play the originals. This is a way to experience a new, you know, fresh take of the, the game that a lot of people love. And, you know, uh, I think that's pretty cool. As far as the pricing, we can talk about that maybe at a different time. But, yeah, man. Uh, hopefully this game turns out to be good. I know there's a lot of Silent Hill fans out there. They're going to be like, yes, yes, waiting for this game to come out. It so far, it looks all right. It looks kind of barren, to be honest. Um, I wonder if that's kind of the aesthetic, though, of the world. And you kind of have to get immersed into it and, and get yourself into the world and kind of go traverse and feel the tension, feel the world building they're trying to uh, provide for you. But we'll just have to see. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.